what is going on today all right so we are going to have a little bit of fun here in star citizen um what my goal today is we're gonna try to upgrade our drake vulture and they're trying to get that done <clears throat> are here at crusader industries uh, i just went over to go see if i can find uh, an upgrade for our power plant and also for our quantum drive and no luck no luck whatsoever especially uh, over here at cousins crows so yeah no luck Welcome to the asop vehicle retrieval system vehicles your vehicle has been delivered please visit us again so i did upgrade my scrapers on the drake over here This looks promising. Okay. Okay. Some uh, power cells. Those are quantum uh, engines. Power cells. some money um i'm gonna use my drake here cars um this part here actually looks like frank i'm gonna call it frank so we're gonna get into frank here hey here we go let's try out the new heads see how old we mac yeah definitely different Oh, there's a huge difference. Oh, ho, 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 geez. this is definitely going to make things go a lot quicker. Yeah, so the original heads that were on here are the original scrapers. Um, they were only producing or their beam was only, uh, what was it, 1.5 meters wide. Uh, these ones for each beam is uh, 3.5 meters. So uh, about twice the size, a little bit more than twice the size. It's not as precise, definitely not. And uh, be able to scrub or scrape the, the surface of these ships a lot quicker. There is another one that's a lot bigger. Of us, I think it ends up being like five or four meters. Uh, but the problem with that is it actually burns most of the material. So this is kind of like the one that I have is like the happy medium where it covers a lot of the surface quickly, but doesn't burn or you don't lose as much material. This is super quick, man. Holy crap. Uh, just in case if you guys are wondering how I'm doing this where I'm sort of staying still, not going up or down with the ship, but uh, the scraper heads are moving, uh, it's because I press G. I turned the gimbal off. And uh, sometimes it's more beneficial this way and other times uh, you work a lot quicker. Also, another thing too is um, if your scraper heads kind of like go cross or get too wide, uh, give an example like right here, if you press G to, uh, to turn the gimbal off and then turn it back on, it sort of like centers it. You can see how it's cross there like there. So that'll do its best to try to Keep it together and see how it's too far apart. Uh, 
as we're walking through, I guess we'll give you a tour. So once you come out of the helm or the front of the ship, uh, you're going to go into your habitation. Ooh, you have your restroom there. Doesn't. Um, oh, no, it does. Oh, look at that. Anyways, then you have your bed over here. Then you come over here to the your next door. Uh, set of stairs. Down into the cargo hold. Now, once we get up to over here, we can go ahead and auto eject and start for the this one. Okay. Next thing to do is to grab out your ray gun. Oh, sorry, it's not a ray. I call it a <laughs> tractor beam gun. And start uh, getting some work done. If you don't have one, you can actually go in here where it says craft. So before, oh, here we go. Please clear. Oh, oh, it is. Anyways, before you start uh, producing any boxes, make sure that you make your tractor uh, tractor beam gun prior to all this. And then you use your mouse wheel, pull the mouse wheel towards you, and you bring the the crates to you, and then you scroll out. Then you scroll it out. Where these purple things are, that's to lock it in place. So I'm talking too much. So, yep, we're going to fill all this up. Yeah, so the way that they, the count is, uh, it's two boxes wide by three boxes deep. And you can put uh, two, four, another six more on the catwalk here. But that won't be locked in. Like you see here. Oh, it locks it in. Uh, they're just played. So they're just placed there. Now what... Uh, the negative part about that is if you need to do any maneuvering or anything, uh, all that material or all these boxes will get thrown around and it might get jettisoned through the hull and you'll lose cargo. Oh, okay, so it looks like we are done with the structure material. Next is the recycled Re material, sorry. Now with the recycled material is what's going to be more valuable than the construction material. Not all places or all stations will take construction material but most the majority of them will take the recycled material and that is it okay so we have all that and uh, two four six eight ten twelve we can do two four six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Technically, we could probably do another run. Okay, let's try it out. start off with the recycled material since like I was saying before uh, it's easier to sell than the construction stuff
Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> okay. It worked out. We definitely do not have any more room in our cargo. In our cargo. So. Uh, let's enter into the pilot seat and head our way to our home spaceport. Vehicle. And we have all this to sell. No, we're not going to buy it. We're going to sell it. So everything, 47,000. See, construction materials. It's really not that much. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, we're still learning all about this game and still trying to figure things out. So, yeah, this will be fun. So far, I'm enjoying it now. <laughs> uh, overcoming the big uh, hurdle. And uh, I guess I'll probably one of these videos, I'll just end up showing you guys on my setup. I'm using a dual, uh, dual flight sticks, but I'm kind of mix matching it. And that was a big thing too, where I was trying to figure out on how to use both of these flight sticks but uh yeah I, I can do a video about on how to use the f mix match flight flight sticks and have everything set up you know the way that you'd like it so until the next time keep on gaming everybody it's time to go